I'm assuming this is pre Do you know the age? It's 1939. There we go, so right on. We can tell that by the colour. Now imagine you're making a thousand tractors a week, which is what Ford were doing, in a bright orange colour, and parking them in a field by the side of the factory. Well, it became noticed that the Luftwaffe were using that as a navigational aid from the factory next to all those orange tractors. And that is why the colour changed to this camouflage camouflage um, green. So, sir, tell us a little bit about this tractor. Well, it was my great-grandfather's tractor, and he made the cab out of ammunition boxes. That's what you the tractor too. parade. Yeah. Absolutely lovely to see, because not particularly restored, very much in its original working clothes, but absolutely wonderful to see that. Really, really tremendous to see. Is it operator trouble? <laughs> now, <laughs> the oil is a bit cold. <laughs> well, don't feel you've got to tear off with it. Leave it here, let it warm up a bit. Don't worry, we can move on. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. How about this for Morton Show? We've got sunshine, we've got people, we've got vintage tractors. Fantastic. I've put my best raincoat on just for a bit of insurance. Now tell us what we've got here, sir. It's the W4, the typical tractor brought in under the lease lend arrangement. Um, its sole purpose in life nowadays is for plowing masses. It's my towing vehicle for, uh, for my trailer plow, and everything on it is adjusted and fiddled around with to suit trailer plowing, and that's about it, really. Now in their day, these were a really highly thought of, a real quality tractor and they sort of gave the English manufacturers a bit of kick in the backside, didn't they? Because the Americans said, look what we can make, and my goodness, this is a quality tractor. Lovely to see you, sir. You're a great supporter of these local events, so thank you very much for being here. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, we said that vintage tractors was a bit of a 